So in this video, we will be solving problems involving percentage, base, and grade. Kagaya nitong problem number one natin. We are asked, what is 9% of 250? Siyempre, ang hinahanap dito ay percentage. Para makatulong sa atin sa pagsusolve, pinagamit natin to. Triangle na to, may kita natin of course yung percent, percentage, base natin, then yung rate. Umpisa pa lang, dapat alam na natin, yung isa sa pinaka madalas na kinalilituhan ng marami. This is what trips most people up. Hindi porke may makita kang percent symbol, kagaya nito. And, hindi porke may makita kang percent symbol, eh, yung given na yun, eh, percentage. Hindi po. Tuwing, in fact, kasi tuwing may makita tayong percent symbol, iyan actually yung ating rate. Ayan sa mabilis na paraan para malaman natin. So, sa question na to, hinahanap, what is 9% of 250? Ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap ay ang ating percentage. Given na yung ating rate, at yung base natin, ito yun, base natin, ito yun, natin, ang hinahanap natin actually is the percentage. Sa malamang sa malamang, ang magiging result ay isa ring constant kamukha nito. Ang palagi lang nilang pinagkaiba, palaging mas malaki si base kumpara kay percentage. Of course, depende sa rate na hinahanap. No? Kung lampas sa 100 yan, dun lang may chance na lumaki yung percentage kaysa sa base. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Paano makakatulong itong triangle na to? Kung anong hinahanap mo, subukan mo lang siyang burahin mula dun sa triangle na to. So, in this example's case, ang hinahanap natin is the percentage. Ngayon yung hindi natin alam. So, para masolve yun, burahin ko yung percentage dito. Ang natira na lang is base and rate. Dahil sila yung magkatabi, sa algebra, lahat ng quantity na magkatabi, pinamultiply. So this is actually base times rate. And this is how you solve for the percentage. Multiply mean base, given base, sa given rate. So ang gagawin natin ngayon, eh, multiply natin itong 250. Ako na lang siya gawin. Multiply natin yung 250 by our rate of 9%. Now, hindi natin pwedeng i-multiply yan sa 9 tapos may percentage symbol. Hindi natin pwedeng gawin yan. Kailangan natin gawin, i-rewrite itong percent, 9% sa decimal. Basically means, kailangan lang natin mag-move ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, 9%, 1 2 decimal places, ibig sabihin 9% is the same as 0 0.09 sa decimal. Ngayon, pwede ka na mag-multiply. So, you have 250 multiplied by 0 0.09. And you can use your calculator para mapabilis ka. Makumun agad doon yung value ng iyong percentage. Which is 22.5. Yan. Ito, yung 9% ng 250. Punta tayo sa second example. Yan. 12 is what percent of 192? Now, isa pa to sa madalas na nakakalito, no? May nakasulat kasi percent, kaya akala hinahanap percentage. Po, pansinin natin, ang nawawala, 
ay yung number na may percent symbol. At alam natin na lahat ng number na may percent symbol according dito, yan, yun yung ating rate. So we're actually looking for the rate in this problem. Ibig sabihin, itong 12 at saka 192, either base or percentage. Alam natin na palaging mas malaki si base kumpara kay percentage. So, ibig sabihin itong 192 ay ang ating base habang yung 12 naman yung ating percentage. Ang inahanap, anong number in percent symbol with the percent symbol ang 12 ni mula kay 192. To do that, kailangan lang natin mag Pura muna, alisin ko tong R. Kasi ang hinahanap natin siya. Yan. So ano lang ang natira? Meron tayong P and B, which is percentage and base. At sila ay placed on top. Si P placed on top of P. Sabihin, they are going to be divided. P Divided by B, that's how you solve for R. Sulat natin. So, P divided by, yun, kaya may bar dyan, P. Yan yung paraan para mahanap natin yung rate natin na may percent symbol. No? So, try natin i-plug in yung given natin, yung binigay sa atin. Ito ko nalagay sa kabila. P natin is 12. Divide natin by B, which is 192. Again, you can use your calculator to do this, to save time as well, or kung masipag-sipag ka at marami kang espasyo sa papel, pwede ka mag-solve manually. Divide mo si 12 by 192. To save time, nagawa ko na siya sa calculator and the quotient would be 0 0.0625. And now, pansin niyo yung sagot natin, decimal. Ang kailangan natin, rate. Nasabi nga natin, gumagamit ng percent symbol. So, kailangan pa natin i-convert itong decimal papunta sa percent. Paano natin gagawin yun? It's as simple as moving the decimal point by two decimal places to the right. So, 1, 2 decimal places, ibig sabihin, nating percent, yung hinahanap natin sa problem na to ay 6 point, dito na mapupunta yung decimal point eh. So, that's 6.25 and then, lagay mo tong percent symbol. Yan, 6.25 percent. Pwede mo rin gawing fra fraction, yung 0.25. Pwede siya maging 6 and 1 fourth percent. So, 12 is 6.25% of 190. Paano naman kung inahanap natin ay yung base? Yung gaya ng nasa sa munod na problem. Yan. 306 is 45% of what number? Saan daw galing si 306? Kasi siya ay 45% lamang ng given number, which is our base. So, mas malaki yun dito sa 306 na percentage natin. Again, yung may percent symbol, hindi siya yung percentage. Siya yung rate. So, mula dito sa triangle, kailangan natin burahin yung P. Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. Ano na lang ang natira sa atin? Yung P placed on top of R. Ibig sabihin, to solve for B, gagamitin natin is P and R, pero we need to divide them. P divided by R. Percentage divided by the rate. So, alam natin yung values. Kailangan na lang natin mag-plug in. Percentage natin is 306 divided by 45%. Again, we cannot solve this kung merong percent symbol. So, kailangan ko to i-rewrite into decimal by just moving two decimal places to the left. So, ibig sabihin yung 45% is actually 0 0.45. 306 divided by 0 0.45.
now you can divide. You can you may use your calculator to save time or you can do this manually. Pero save time nga. Gamit ko na yung calculator at alam ko na na ang sagot sa problem na to is actually 608. So, si 306 ay 45% is 600. In fact, pwede mo pang i-double check te. Because we know that 608 is our base. Gusto mong i-check na siya talaga yung 45% ni, three, uh, ni 680. Hanapin mo yung percentage. You multiply this by 45%. So, 0.45 yon. Multiply mo 680 by 0.45 at babalik ka dito. Which is your 45% of 680. So, yun lamang ang paraan ng pag-solve ng percentage, base, and rate. Malaga lamang natatatandaan natin itong triangle na to, no? Pura ko na eh. Yan. Percentage, base, and Solve for the percentage, you multiply base and rate. To solve for the base, divide main percentage and rate. To solve for the rate, you divide percentage by. Now it's your turn. Kaya mo bang gawin to? Let me know in the comments kung ano magiging sagot mo o kung may bahagi ng video na to na hindi mo ganong naunawa. Thanks for watching.